the invisible man by hg wells and today we are on chapter number 27 the siege of kemp's house in chapter number 26 we had seen how the invisible man has been hounded throughout the day throughout the night by the policemen by the people by the dogs and he has also committed a murder of mr wickstead and uh, as the author has told us after the murder he had a flash of remorse regret but later on he planned again his evil planning is uh, coming out from his brain and he has planned what to do next so in this chapter let us see what the invisible man has planned and the characters that we meet in this chapter are dr kemp griffin colonel adye and two policemen so in chapter number 27 as the title suggests it is a siege we have already used this word before it is like uh, um, you know taking somebody uh, uh, trying to take somebody and uh, trying to form a war like situation just in order to take that person and earlier the siege was for the invisible man but now we see that the siege is for dr kemp and it is by the invisible man um uh, before we do that the month that is going on is june and the time is 1 o'clock of afternoon the next day after the hunting of the invisible man began so uh, around the afternoon kemp receives a letter uh, for himself written by griffin and of course it is a threat that he issues and in that letter he says that the game is only beginning because Kemp is now the number one enemy for Griffin and he would be he threatens him with murder he says that Kemp would be the first person to die at the hands of the invisible man and the terror would begin with kemp's death he wants to set an example by using kemp and uh, of course he wants to take that revenge from him for the trait uh, for the kind of uh, distrust that kemp has shown uh, kemp has become a traitor in the eyes of the invisible man and he wants nothing but kemp's death and that is why he has laid a siege to the house of kemp uh, well uh, what does kemp do kemp writes a note for colonel adye in which he makes a plan to catch griffin and he offers himself as the bait to catch him it is a big thing he has made another plan even though he knows that his life is in danger he puts his own life in danger and he says okay if he wants to kill me let me act as a bait to catch him and that is what tells us a lot about the character of dr kemp he here is fulfilling his social responsibility something that uh, we have never seen uh, griffin doing something that the invisible man has never done he is fulfilling his social responsibility because he says i will help you capture and that is why he sends a note to dr kemp through his maid servant 
but it proves to be a foolish move why is it a foolish move because the invisible man is around he is already around the house and when the maid servant comes out and she has a note he snatches away the note from her and the plan is revealed to him so even before the plan could be executed even before the plan could be put into action uh, the invisible man gets hold of the plan and it automatically fails uh, colonel adye comes to kemp's house and griffin starts smashing windows upstairs and downstairs everywhere he just uses something maybe some kind of stones or bricks and he starts smashing windows what is the purpose of doing this uh, because he wants to gain entry into the house it is very important for him to gain entry into the house because only then he will be able to catch hold of kemp and take his revenge by killing him and uh, he uh, adye um, says to kemp that they need dogs they need bloodhounds they need dogs they need help.